Que la guerra, mi gente. Rico Toro. I'm coming at you right now with just straight game. No intro, no shades, no switched up backgrounds, out and about, no random clips thrown in, just a few minutes of straight game. Sometimes it's necessary. So. In Santiago, yeah, so the McDonald's fruit punch. Anyways, another story, extra video included. So, some of this I've mentioned in my Santiago video I'm doing, which is kind of long. This one's going to be short and just with the nitty gritty of the straight game. But things, it don't hurt to hear twice. So, on the way down here, um, you know, I'm taking a taxi, one of my main airport taxi guys, because... He had to come here to drop somebody off. I missed the Metro bus schedule, whatever, whatever. He gave me a great deal, so. But on the way down here, you know, he speaks a little bit of English and he's having WhatsApp conversations back with this dude. And, you know, um, I think the guy was asking him, you know, the guy he's picking up at the airport or whatever maybe, was asking him if he could hook him up with um, a lady. I'm just gonna say ladies this clip. I'm not gonna use any derogatory terms, nicknames, etc. We all love them, but for this video, just ladies. Somebody's mother, daughter, sister, blah, blah, blah. So he said he has a lady. Um, she's gonna want $150 for like three hours of her time. I cringed for two reasons. One, it is an astronomical amount, but more so, this use of damn dollars. Talk of the damn dollar. And it dawned on me recently, I know why. Because somewhere when whatever the exchange was at the time, 3,000 to 4,000 pesos when it up to like five. Once people, once whatever the exchange rate will come out to, to 100 or more, and that's what some people started wanting, they started quoting in dollars. So I blame ladies for that. Bear with me. So. When I started coming in 08, it was kind of one of those things like, you know, all I had was just a basic little bit of high school Spanish at that time. So you can't say it's because I speak so much Spanish now that it's different because it's not. But coming off the plane, like my friends had brought me here and they didn't speak any Spanish. I spoke more than them. They were like, it's pesos here, not dollars. We exchange our money. We go into town, exchange it. And we always talk pesos. So, fast forward. I think that, you know, many of the newer guys, they've been trained wrong. They've learned wrong. And there's also a new breed of ladies that has learned wrong in that sense. And, you know, like I said something on another video and I meant it with tough love. Not to really be slamming or bashing anybody, but I said, I think I said something like, you know, if you're talking in dollars, you're a Bama-ass clown. Don't be a Bama-ass clown. Because I can't say sir in other words. Uh, so, I mean that with love. A little tough love, but I mean that with love because, you know, I encourage and want people to learn you know, the right ways or better ways that can enhance their experience. Okay, so, so back to this, this thing though. So yeah, I think, and you know, it's also about, it's also about learning. Like in many ways I say, learn to, learn to talk to where they understand, you know, and you know, blah, blah, blah. But 
in some ways we have to stick to talking our way, not their way. Their way is like, oh, blah, blah, X amount of money, one hour. The two, two important words, a simple phrase I learned in Spanish that works well. Learn this one as well as gracias, you know, por favor. If you at least know how to say, como esta, gracias, por favor, donde esta el baño, learn these. Un rato, un, U-N, rato, R-A-T-O. It means a while. My mileage goes far with that. Because they say, okay, blah, 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 un hora, and say, no, 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 un rato. Because basically it means I'm going to be how long I'm going to be. It might be 20, 30 minutes. It might be an hour and 20. But don't rush me. You know, like, you know, we use our speak. Not street, not whole speak. Excuse me, lady speak. So, you know, that that's that. All right, so today, um, well, last night... You know, last night, just catching up with some friends, you know, a friend told me, a friend in Puerto Plata told me that he was coincidentally in Santiago this weekend, and I didn't, wasn't aware of this. So, today I told him that I have company on the way from Puerto Plata, and he asked, does she know anyone in Santiago? So, I checked with her, she says, no, but I can bring someone if you like. So... Next thing you know, I'm like, I don't want to, you know, she sends some pictures. I'm like, I don't want to be in the middle of this. So I pass his number. And then, and then, okay, it's like, okay, we found a winner. So next thing you know, his winner, this lady, she has bad internet or her internet's not working or whatever. So they just, it just didn't go far. So then maybe there's another one. And, you know, all of a sudden there's like a, And that one, that one was saying um, $150 to come all night. And he's, li he's only lived here like a little while, hasn't been to the Dominican Republic before. But he picked up the language, but he, he checked it real quick. And he said, I live here. I spend pesos. Don't talk to me about that dollar shit. And she comes out with like 8,000 pesos or something. And, and he's, a, he's like, absolutely no. And this is my point that I'm getting to is, you know, normally he has a range that he thinks is fair, four to five. Maybe since he has to travel from you know, Puerto Plata, five to six thousand pesos. About fair. But, you know, the other point is, who's worth that much that you've never met? You've never met them. Forget about the pictures. A lot of them are filtered and crazy anyways. Or they're too old and, you know, they're from 2016. So... Like I said, nobody's worth that that you've never met. They're unproven. And he said, exactly, good point. And so that leads me into the window shopping topic. Window shopping. Remember that one from Rico Toro. And if you haven't hit that subscribe yet, hit that subscribe right now. Right now. I'm waiting a second. Pause. Hit the subscribe. Okay, let's go. So, window shopping. All right, say you got a trip coming up in a week or two, right? You're on Tinder, swiping away. You know, you're, you know, chippity, chappity, chattity, wackity, wiggity, jackity. And working the apps, working Facebook, Instagram, etc., etc. et lo que hay, mommy. And then, but you, and then like, you know, if she, you start making arrangements for your first day, your first night, 
Well, if the topic, and then at some point, maybe you initiate it, how much do you cost? Please learn to sit, please learn to approach better than that if that's what you're saying. Because an approach like that, usually it's a lot higher than a, this is what I'm willing to do for you. It matters sometimes, not always. Some, some want what they want. It's not an exact science, you know that. So, or she gets into it and says, I want X, Y, Z for this amount or what time or whatever, whatever. Well, here's the thing. When you're not here yet, or you're not planning on seeing her today or tomorrow, it's irrelevant. That's just window shopping. That's just um, theoretical talk. Those numbers don't mean anything because they could change 17 times before you actually, you know, make the plan, the day to actually see her. So don't buy into all that. Don't, don't like make a thing on the chitty chatty chat groups with your boys. This is what I was told from my upcoming tr trip in 17 days. You know, this one once or, or whatever, whatever. Sometimes it might be that, but most of the time it's irrelevant. You know, um, my approach to something like that is like, regardless of whatever the conversation was, is the day that I'm supposed to see somebody, a half hour before I'm supposed to see them, if it don't come up a second time, I'm like, oh, by the way, this is what I pay. Nine times out of 10, see you more, está bien, okay, you know, and that's what I'm saying. Don't window shop too much or don't take it too serious, those numbers. So, you know, on, on my friend's situation with old girl coming down, eventually we just nixed that idea. But I straight up told her, I said, I, told up, I straight up told her, I said, your friend's an idiot. You know, you don't talk to a guy that lives here so much like a tourist. No, no friend of mine is going to come out of pocket with that much money for someone that he hasn't met yet. And, and she said, well, I really didn't like that she was communicating directly with him. I wanted to arrange it because, Rico, I agree with you. She is stupid. She doesn't know shit. Basically, that's what it translated to. You know, so she basically was saying her friend don't go out much or get, you know, or whatever, whatever. So, you know, that's, so she doesn't always know what's realistic or whatever. Sometimes that's the case. They don't go out much, so they hear bad information. Or what they think is realistic is not realistic. And just like they had a lot of guys have chat groups, I think there's some girls chat groups going on too. And what's funny is... You know, the girls probably all think that, like, gringos are telling other gringos bad information. They don't mean nothing. We're learning wrong. Some are. But I really sincerely think that a lot of the girls are just giving other girls, even worse, bad information. Consistently bad information. And that's why when stuff blow, you know, because it might work for one out of ten. You know, she might be a really hot, choppy daughter. And has mad game and the looks, the body, the skills, everything. And it might she might command a certain amount, but she's telling these middle of the road or bottom feeder stuff, and it's backfiring. And and they never want to accept like you know that they're getting bad information. So we'll wrap this up. I hope y'all learned something, a little something you know today. Quick note, also I realize is like. If a girl pretends to be a non-pro or semi-pro, which I kind of learned this in this situation, actually, this and there, but she seems to have unlimited amounts of friends to hook your friends up with, and I might say something about her, not so non- or semi-pro like you thought. Knowledge. Hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe. You know you just got some free game. Rico Toro. Yeah. Cash app if you want to. Always appreciated, but never expected. Much love. Peace.